I will not talk about Master and Commander today besides what I just said. Okay. Although I really want to continue the streak of always talking about a sequel with you. I would let's love that. It. You know let's, it. Let's do it. What is it going to take for no, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, listen, about a year ago, you told me at Sundance that WandaVision, the scripts were unlike anything you had seen and you couldn't wait for people to see it. And now that I've seen three episodes, I completely get what you're saying or what you said back then. Um, what what has this thing been like? Because it, or I guess if you could talk a little bit about the fact that this series is so unlike anything that Marvel has done before. I think that's right. And I think that it's going to Marvel fans, when you get to the end, what I am hoping for the show is that it brings in new fans. I think there's some wonderful homages to TV shows throughout the American century. And also uh, I think that it's gonna be incredibly satisfying for dyed in the wall Marvel fans because you will get to look at the MCU in a whole new light. I mean, it of course starts with Wonder Vision, with Wonder and Vision dropped into a sort of idyllic black and white 1950s suburban town and realizing they're in a, 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 a you know, a, a, um, a show. And then we start hurtling through the century, decade by decade at breakneck speed, uh, episode by episode, week by week, and, and until Vision begins to really realize something's not right about this. <laughs> something's not right about this town. And then the world, the MCU that we've all grown to know and love, and this world collide in the most epic of endings. And I will, I, I, I mean, the stuff that I can't talk to you about, like I get to work with this actor that is a total secret, and I get to work with this actor that I have been longing to work with and act with for years, and I finally got to, and it was amazing, and, uh, and fireworks exploded and uh, it was great. One of the things that people will forget is that this all started with you doing a voiceover role uh, as the voice of a computer. And then lo and behold, it is now what it is. How early on did you learn what the ultimate arc was or where this was all gonna go? Were you even, was this even hinted to you at the beginning? Oh, no, no, I didn't know that, no. And I don't think they knew that about me either. I mean, I think what happened was uh, I solved a lot of problems <laughs> when they'd spent a lot of money trying to solve stuff in camera, clarity issues, and then tried to solve it with CG and they still couldn't solve it. I could just go, the bad guys are coming on your left, sir. And they would go, oh my God, I thank God we finally, you know, they've been living with this problem for whatever, six months of editorial. And uh, and and I would, you know, we, we all laughed together a lot. And, and I think that when they came to, hey, what about Vision? And then they went, hey, what about Paul? Just because I've been so pleasant to be around. <laughs> I think they were doing me a favor. Uh, I already got to stop. I'm just going to say, I really can't wait to see where this all goes. Um, and I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you so much, mate. Thank you. You oh. take care.